What's up everyone? Passive Auto here. We are now, this is the second game of this November 11, 2022 NBA game day. So we got uh, the game between Phoenix Suns with a record of 8 wins and 3 losses. Uh, visiting Orlando Magic uh, with a record of 3 wins and 9. The game, by the way, will be at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Bobber, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right? By the way, the spread given is minus 7, and that's towards the, uh, um, the, uh, the road team, uh, Phoenix Suns. Again, it's minus 7 given towards Phoenix. So let's take a look at the standings first of these two teams. For Orlando Magic, they are ranked number 14 in the Eastern Conference with a record of 3-9. and nine. While for Phoenix Suns, uh, they are actually uh, doing good at number 3 in the Western Conference with a record of 8-3. and three. Um, So it will be Orlando Magic who would have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of momentum, uh, we can just skip that part because uh, both teams actually uh, actually played and won, uh, you know, a couple of nights a couple of nights back. Um, Orlando Magic defeating Dallas Mavericks, man, um, without Bancaro. Uh So that is crazy. So I'm uh, pretty sure that uh, it, it pumped up um, the momentum of Orlando Magic, and I'm pretty sure that it made a lot of Orlando fans happy. Uh, for uh, Phoenix Suns, they actually defeated Minnesota Timberwolves by 12, 129-117. Uh, that was also on that same day. Um, and uh, Phoenix Suns did that on the road and without Chris Paul. Alright, so for this particular matchup, uh, let's take a look at the availability of the players um, in the injury list. For I'm looking at uh, Phoenix Suns. Crowder still not playing. Cam, Cam Johnson still out. Cam, and Chris Paul is listed as questionable, but highly likely he would not still be playing. Uh, with that kind of uh, spread of minus seven, I'm pretty sure that uh, they are considering that Chris Paul won't be there. Um, for Orlando Magic, I'm seeing uh, five players out. Then uh, you know the, the, the usual five, and then we got Paolo Banquero is still listed as questionable, so we ain't sure. Right, so let's make this one uh, quick. I'm pretty sure that the, without Chris Paul, it's like one of the best players the Phoenix Suns being not available. Well, not only that, Cam Johnson is still not playing, right? Um, but I guess Phoenix Suns was able to uh, show um, enough enough proof that they can actually still cover spread and you know and uh, beat uh, those so-so players even if without uh, even if. Uh, Chris Paul won't be, won't be with them. And they did that a couple of nights back against Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, a lot of people may say a lot of negative stuff about Minnesota Timberwolves, but man, Minnesota Timberwolves is simply better than uh, Orlando Magic. And I'm, you know, and I'm, I'm actually holding on to that. Now, they're going up against Orlando Magic. I'm pretty sure that Orlando, just like I said, Orlando's uh, pumped up. Um, Orlando's young. They are at the home court. But uh, with that win, I'm pretty sure the Phoenix Suns would be a bit more careful uh, on this particular uh, matchup, on this particular game, and they won't be taking uh, Orlando Magic uh, uh, lightly. I'm um, actually uh, expecting Phoenix Suns to win this one in, in double digits, so I'm actually uh, siding with Phoenix with a minus 7 on it. Again, that's Phoenix, minus 7. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.